In this video, we will learn how to review the dashboard. We're going to navigate to the dashboard using the left side menu. And we can begin by filtering the locations. Over here, we're going to select only for the first location. And next, we're going to select the time range. We're going to use the last 180 days. And then we can also change the compared to, but we're going to leave it by default to the previous period. Let's start with the booking value first. The booking value shows the total amount of service price for all bookings during the selected period. After booking value, we can look at the sales summary. The sales summary consists of the invoice value, which is the sum of grand total invoices processed during the selected period. We also have the sold services, which is the sum of quantities of the point of sale items that includes a service and the sold products, which is the sum of the quantities of POS items that includes a product. The booking channel will categorize all of your bookings depending on which channel they came from. Business and provider calendars contain internally booked appointments while the booking widget and reserve with Google are all online bookings made by the client themselves. This section includes a downloadable button on the top right corner. After the sales summary, we can take a look at the booking trend. In this section, we can take a look at the total count of appointments. You may also download the report using the download button on the top right corner of that section. We can also view the upcoming bookings by clicking that button over there. This will take us to the appointment. And after upcoming booking section, we've got the booking status section. On this report, you'll be able to see each appointment status for the selected period. This also contains downloadable reports. And moving from the booking status, we've got the productivity report. This section will display the efficiency of the provider schedules and how their allocated time was used in the selected month. We can begin with the working hours, which is the grand total of all the hours of each provider schedule under the business, the booked hours, which is the sum of bookings duration plus any transition time of all the providers, the time off hours, which is the sum of the time off duration of all the providers. And finally, we have the idle hours, which is the total scheduled hours minus the total booking hours minus the total time off hours. And moving on from productivity, the second last report available is the top services booking report. This report has a download button also available on the top right corner. And finally, we can move on to the top providers report. So in this section, all providers with booking will be included, but only the top five providers will be shown. They will be shown with the total count of bookings they had in the selected period, as well as the total booking value with an increase and decrease of percentages when compared to the previous month. This section has also a download button on the top right corner. In addition to the dashboard page, you also have the reports page. On the reports page, you'll get a comprehensive list of reports that range from sales, booking, and provider. We can use the same filter options on the top right corner and change the location and the day range. We can use the download button to download individual reports. To see what the report contains, we've added a summary underneath the report name. As we open a report over here, you can see there is precise data. Now you know how to review the dashboard. Please contact us at support at yocal.com or use the chat symbol for more help.